Good morning, church. This is the Lord's Day, and we will praise and give thanks to our God. Today is Youth Sunday at Salem. We, will, we welcome you to worship. We will recall in the scripture the promise of the Holy Spirit in the Gospel of John. Let us lift our voices together as we sing, Open Eyes of My Heart. Join me responsibly in the call to worship. We long for community and the presence of God, in whom we live and move and have our being. This day, Christ tells us that we will never be alone. An advocate will share our journey, with whom we will live and create community and celebrate being. May the ever-present love of God be with you, and may the joy of Christ surround you. May we know the presence of the Spirit as we gather in this community of peace, continuing to share the cause of discipleship with deeds of bold mercy and courageous justice. As an Easter people following a risen Lord, may the life of Jesus live on in us and through us. Amen. Friends, join me in prayer. Still speaking, God, we have come here today for many reasons, each with our own story. May these reasons and stories be immersed in your sacred story, finding ourselves caught up in drama and beauty of Jesus' teaching, life, and ministry. Through your Holy Spirit, enable us to move boldly into the future and to fulfill the hope of love that Jesus taught. 
Even as we pray the prayer he taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Please join us in singing our next song, Because He Lives. Join me in prayer. Ever gracious God, it seems at times we forget that you know us at our very depth. We become anxious and afraid that you are not with us and that our lives have lacked meaning and purpose. You have called us to great things, but we focus instead on what we lack rather than on whose we are. By your mercy, help us to live out the commandments of Christ beyond these walls, beyond this hour. And in so doing, May we become for the world the very presence of justice, hope, and peace. 
All of us have been created and called to be in community. Know this, but more importantly, live this. As, As God's, God's children, children, we, we are, are loved and equipped for a great ministry. ministry. Follow Jesus' commandment to love boldly as you are held in grace and love of God. Thanks be to God. Friends, let us raise our voices together as we sing, We are called to be God's people. Our first reading comes from Acts of the Apostles, chapter 17, verses 22 through 31 from the message. So Paul took his stand in the open space at Areopagus and laid it out for them. It is plain to see that you Athenians take your religion seriously. When I arrived here the other day, I was fascinated with all the shrines I came across. And then I found one inscribed, To the God Nobody Knows. I'm here to introduce you to this God so you can worship intelligently, know who you're dealing with. The God who made the world and everything in it, this master of sky and land, doesn't live in custom-made shrines or need the human race to run errands for him, as if he couldn't take care of himself. He makes the creatures, the creatures don't make him. Starting from scratch, he made the entire human race and made the earth hospitable, with plenty of time and space for living, so we could seek after God and not just grope around in the dark, but actually find him. He doesn't play hide-and-seek with us. He's not remote, he's near. We live and move in him, can't get away from him. One of your poets said it well, we're the God created. Well, if we're the God created, it doesn't make a lot of sense to think we could hire a sculptor to chisel a God out of stone for us, does it? God overlooks it as long as you don't know any better, but that time is past. The unknown is now known and he's calling for a radical life change. He has set a day when the entire human race will be judged and everything set right, and he has already appointed the judge, confirming him before everyone by raising him from the dead. 
Our second reading comes from 1 Peter chapter 3, verses 13 through 22 from the Contemporary English Version. Can anyone really harm you for being eager to do good deeds? Even if you have to suffer for doing good deeds, God will bless you. So stop being afraid and don't worry about what people might do. Honor Christ and let him be the Lord of your life. Always be ready to give an answer when someone asks you about your hope. Give a kind and respectful answer to keep your conscience clear. This way, you will make people ashamed for saying bad things about your good conduct as a follower of Christ. You are better off to obey God and suffer for doing right than suffer for doing wrong. Christ died once for our sins. An innocent person died for those who are guilty. Christ did this to bring you to God. When his body was put to death and his spirit was made alive, Christ then preached to the spirits that were, be, that were being kept in prison. They had disobeyed God while Noah was building the boat, but God had been patient with them. Eight people went on into that boat and were brought safely through the flood. Waters, those flood waters were like baptism that now saves you. But baptism is more than just washing your body. It means turning to God with a clear conscience because Christ, Jesus Christ was raised from death. Christ is now in heaven where he sits at the right side of God. All angels, authority, and powers are under his control. John chapter 14 verses 15 through 21 the promise of the Holy Spirit if you love me you will do as I command then I will ask the Father to send you the Holy Spirit who will help you and always be with you the Spirit will show you what is true the people of this world cannot accept the Spirit because they don't see or know him but you know the Spirit who is with you and will always keep living in you. I won't leave you like orphans. I will come back to you. In a little while, the people of this world won't be able to see me, but you will see me. And since I live, you will live. Then you will know that I am with the Father. You will know that you are with me and I am one with you. If you love me, you will do what I have said. My Father will love you. I will also love you and show you what I am like. Friends, these words are trustworthy and true, and we can believe them. Amen.
Spending time with family and friends. To me, love means friends, family, and caring a lot about somebody. What does love look like to you? What is love? Hearts, hugs, and saying nice words. Ooh, okay. Hearts, hugs, and saying nice words. Like, what kind of nice words? Like, I love you. Ramsey. Yeah? What does love look like to you? It's like a heart. Yeah. Like you care about someone. Love to me is when you care for someone and you care about them and you make them happy and you make them laugh. Hugs and kisses to me. It looks love looks like a like big heart to love people, and then you usually hug or kiss. What love looks like to me is being kind to other people and respecting what they give you and to respect each other. Love for me is when you care for someone and um, you, when they're hurt, you're hurting too. And you always help them through anything and you trust them with all your heart. Some kinds of things you can do to show love for 
one another is being kind, helping others when hurt or sad, or being a good listener. We show love to each other by caring, helping each other, and kissing. Like, give people, like, flowers. Mm -hmm. Give them, like, a high five. Something I could do to show love is hugs and kisses, give nice pictures, or smile. We can just do simple things that can make someone else's day. We can volunteer at food shelters and we can do simple tasks. How you can show that is just always make them smile and always make them laugh and trust them. We show love to one another by spreading kindness, being nice, helping people when they need it, and being there for somebody when they need it. What people do to show love is like to give them a hug and be kind to them and like show their appreciation for the person. Mm-hmm, very good. To show love, it looks it feels like, it looks like that it, it makes my heart pump really fast because I'm, I'm really happy. To show love to others, we usually hug, kiss, or do nice stuff and be nice. We show love, kindness, helping each other, and hugs. To show others that I love them is to play with them, to snuggle them, to help them whenever they need. The way you can show love to people is to help them when they are hurting and to make sure they are always okay. Another thing you could do is you can always be by their side no matter what. To give them hugs and kisses and draw pictures for them. We show love for one another by helping people through things and comforting people. Um, like say you might have done something bad in the past and um, the person forgave you for what you did and mm -hmm. yeah it's like that that's like what Jesus does right he forgives mm -hmm. us very good um don't do any mean things and and don't do any mean things even if other people do mean things to you people doing God's work when friends and family make are making plastic mats out of plastic bags. When we went to feed my starving children, um, everyone worked, they had their job and everyone did what they were supposed to. I've went multiple times, um, sometimes with class and sometimes with church. When I saw unique things in nature like a purple shark or a white alligator um, and when I see people that have amazing talents like Giannis. With great appreciation, we thank those who continue to support the work of the church through their offerings, participation, and presence. We are called upon as children of God to share in the love and work of Jesus. We, as the body of Christ, whether gathered or scattered, continue in the day to witness and work on behalf of our Lord, returning ourselves and our lives as gifts to the source from whom all blessings flow.
May the gifts we have received, O oh God, become action and intention, fulfilling Christ's commandment to love. Amen.
here, receive, and accept the challenge given to us this week. What are you willing to do for the love of God? Go back into the world from which you have come, and let love be true and freely given. And you may be encouraged and blessed by the Spirit, whose love warms and surrounds you like the sun, believing that God is always as close as our beating heart. Amen.